cycle. This is actually the best available reversible cycle. And it was first you know, introduced by um, Sadi Carnot. He is actually a French engineer in 1824. So this is the first time he proposed this cycle. In this uh, cycle, it has four reversible processes, two isothermal and two adiabatic. So here, here you can see actually this from this animation uh, how these four processes is happening. So to what I say two isothermal and two adiabatic, you can see the adiabatic processes and the isothermal processes. The isothermal processes is process one and three, and you can see this is two and four. And if you look here closely, actually how um, it is working, you, you can see from this is the same both figure you can see from this both animation the left hand side and the right hand side it's actually showing the four processes reversible processes so now i'm going to discuss how it works with more explanation so here you can see as we said we have four um irreversible processes so this is process what two and we can say this is you know the reversible isothermal expansion state so here we have the gas inside the cylinder. We have the piston here. This is actually the gas with constant temperature T haze. And we put some what temperature reservoir or you can say the energy source, which is very close contact with this, uh, you know, this piston cylinder device. Okay, this is let's say piston cylinder arrangement. We have this energy source or you can say the, you know, you know, the high temperature reservoir, right? So the both energy source and this gas temperature is TH is constant. It is same. So what we can do here is, um, you can see we have the piston here at this position. If we allow this gas, okay? If this gas is allowed to expand, then what will happen? If gas expand, then temperature of this gas it will decrease isn't it the temperature of this gas will decrease and the decrease let's say after a certain period of time the decrease is very small dt very small decrease so the gas temperature will decrease dt very elementary section and when it will decrease dt then immediately some heat transfer will happen here this energy source or high temperature reservoir will transfer some heat to this gas because it is very close no insulation here so it can easily transfer some heat this dt amount of it very elementary section and the gas temperature will become t haze again so it will become t haze again so that means the temperature difference between this you know this uh, gas and this energy source it will never you know exceed that limit dt and it will it will remain constant t haze so when it will decrease little bit t dt this energy source will transfer the heat there right so in this case so that means it is a, a reversible process and when the cylinder will raise to you know um this process too it will this process will continue until the cylinder raised to this process too or state two so what we said in this case you know the temperature difference between these two never exit this and at the end you know it will be constant the temperature t and here the heat transfer is q has so now when we go back when we go to the process two so this is you see the process two in process two, it is we said uh, the reversible adiabatic expansion. Reversible adiabatic expansion. Adiabatic means you see here what we did. The energy source is removed and some insulation is placed here to prevent the heat transfer. So insulation is put in the you know the head of this cylinder. So in this case, when we do not have any source energy source here, but we have the insulation. The gas will continue to expand slowly and it will do some work on the cylinder. So the temperature will decrease slowly and temp as we are not getting any heat, this time temperature will decrease to TL. 
okay so the temperature will drop because our assumption is we consider this is a frictionless uh, piston okay so temperature will drop as it is a frictionless piston and the process to be quasi equilibrium so we can say this process is reversible and adiabatic okay because we have put the insulation here so that means what was happening in this case the temperature is constant then we see the temperature dropped here now this is the piston you know the um, we have the piston location 3 so now the you know the process 3 the process 3 we say it is reversible isothermal compression okay this is actually the process 3 so at this pro this process 3 we just again just put the energy sink or low temperature reservoir very close to this uh, you know cylinder and we removed this insulation you can see in this process 2 we had the insulation but here now we just remove the insulation when we remove this insulation then we can get some heat transfer here so what is happening it is you know the compression not expansion during this compression when it is this air is compressed then what will happen guys when it will compress the temperature will increase right temperature will increase and it will be very elementary increase like dt when it will increase dt this gas will immediately transfer that amount of heat to this you know low energy reservoir or energy sink so the temperature at this gas and this energy sink you see it is still so it will be TL again so you maybe you, you are asking then the energy sink temperature will increase or this is actually the reservoir and you know the definition of that anyways I don't want to discuss it here so it will continue continue until uh, you know it does this, this piston reach at you know position 4 the process 4 and the temperature in a TL it will be constant here so that is actually you know in this case it is not adiabatic anymore it is you know the isothermal process right because this is the process 3 you, you can see so the temperature difference between this and this it will never exceed this dt so when it is dt it will uh, you know transfer the heat to this sink energy sink and in this case this the heat transfer will define the heat transfer um, or the you can see the heat rejected from this this gas to this energy sink is ql right and now the final phase when it is in the you know the process four it will expand now what we did we removed the energy sink okay at this state four we remove the energy sink and we put some insulation that um, can prevent the you know the unnecessary heat transfer so if we compressed it bit more then this temperature tl it will increase increase and it will become t highs like the original you know the the initial stage so it was the case so this is it will continue until the temperature becomes t highs so that means the temperature rises from tl to t highs and it is a reversible and adiabatic process so we got two adiabatic process this is the one adiabatic process this is another adiabatic process and this is you know the ice you know the isothermal process this is the isothermal process this is the isothermal process so two adiabatic and two isothermal so in this way you see this is actually the complete cycle and the process will continue this way if you want to see this animation here you can see so initially it was here it was here then you can see it comes here this is state two this is first three and this is the four and then it go back to the original positions so if you look here in this animation you can clearly see actually what is happening now we'll quickly look um, the PV diagram you can see this is actually the PV diagram for the Kernel cycle and if we mm, consider the reversed Kernel cycle then you see initially it was this is one this is two this is three this is four and now you see is one two three four I'll discuss it during the lecture so the reverse Kernel cycle you can see here reverse Kernel cycle it is the Kernel cycle engine you know the Kernel heat engine cycle totally reversible and all process uh, that comprise it can be reversed 
so you know the refrigeration cycle uh, we discussed earlier so the cannot i think that's all and um, we'll discuss a bit more during the lecture so here if you look at this animation guys then i believe you can clearly understand actually what is happening here from you know the state one to two to three and three to four and four to the initial state so i believe you 